I'm hugely excited to release this EP and to show people um, what I've been writing really and, and to, to, to have that chance to connect with people. The whole point of writing is so you can connect with people. You, you write, you don't write for validation, you write so you can share what you've written. That That's the end of story and so now I can do that instead of, you know, just with one song. I've now got four songs to do it with. We're doing a couple of things uh, later this year. Some involving going to Europe, um, supporting a band called Pierce Brothers out there, which is going to be super fun. Um, only ever gone once in Europe, so that's that's going to be really fun. I remember it being a blast last time. Um, what we're thinking about, I suppose, is you know just just writing more and figuring out where you know what I want to do as an artist, where we want to go with all of this. I spend a lot of my time just writing songs in a really bare bones fashion. It's either vocal or guitar or piano and guitar, and I might do some other stuff on top, but really it's just that. And I write quite a lot. I, I, I love writing, so I keep on doing that. So what I'm used to is just writing songs just like that and having that bare bones structure. With the CP, um, I've got a chance to, to flash out songs, to develop them more um, in, in ways that I couldn't do before, musically in ways that I couldn't do before, and explore parts of maybe the message I want to convey through the songs, explore them to a, to a better degree now, to a deeper degree, because we've got more instruments to do that and, and a more... We're in an environment that facilitates that. We're not rushing to do anything. The whole reason I think you should gig a lot in the beginning is because a lot of people... I don't... I genuinely believe a lot of people have no idea why they're performing. Like, a lot of people in the beginning genuinely, I think, probably perform for attention or just because they think it's good, and then a lot of people do it because it makes them feel great, but you need to do as many gigs as possible and as many different scenarios as possible to really to really confirm that, to yourself that you want to do this. That That is, like, the reason. You, you don't know if... Like, everyone's going to love gigging if you're performing at Wembley Stadium. Like, th that's not loving gigging. That's loving playing at Wembley Stadium. Everyone's going to love selling out a headline show. That's not... That's not loving playing, that's not loving singing songs or anything, that's just loving the feeling of playing to people who have come to see you, you know, sell out a show, have, you know, have sold out a show for you. That is different to travelling, I don't know, seven hours to get to an open mic to play 20 minutes and then to travel another four hours back home. That's different to travelling, you know, travelling, taking three trains to get to a gig to pay for two hours and to come back after that in the middle of the night, you know? That is genuinely, like, enjoying playing or, or, or trying to figure out why you want to play. The reason I love playing music and performing music is because, you know, since, since, I, since I was a child, it's the only thing that I find myself always coming back to, that idea of performing, that idea of writing something and having it resonate with people. You know, we um, I came over to the UK when I was about two. I didn't even know what my name was. I, th I thought it was something else, and then it turns out it was Soham, and now I say it's Showham because that's just what I say now. So it's Showham, but um, I I just find that from from coming here and from growing up here, and and, and, and you know, trying to trying to figure out what I want what I want to be really, music keeps coming back to me, whether it be through listening to music or writing music or singing music or just. Sometimes I find that there's complete silence, and you're and, and you you can just think you can just think of music in silence, which I've just never been able to do with anything else. I've never been able to to think of something where the opposite of that is going on, and and that's why songwriting is amazing because there's nothing, and then you write a song, you're the reason something is now there, and and then I thought, well, I can do that. I, I want to show people this, and you know, in the, in the beginning, there's. You know, there's a million reasons you want to show people a song. There's a million and one reasons, you know. It could be your first song, or you could be really excited, or you think it's a great song, or you just want attention, or, you know, whatever that reason is. There's a million reasons, though. Um, and the more you do it, the more you realise, out of those million reasons, which reason you're actually doing it for. Whether it is just for attention or to impress people, or whether it is because you get excited when you write, or whether it is because you don't get excited when you write, but you believe in what you write, and you're proud of what you write, and you want to show people what you write. And... I, I don't think I've found that reason yet, but I think that I'm closer to it now. I think I'm closer to it now and I'm more comfortable with the music that I want to write and share.